All right, what's up, people? How is it going? It's PSL Season 7! Platoon 3's first season for us here in the Proton Splat League, and I hope you guys are doing well this evening here. As we got two teams pretty much new to the PSL-ish, as we got Ludicrous Speed versus the Cephalo Squad to kick off this season. What's up, everybody? I'm Kion. I will be leading you through the cast here this evening, solo one especially. Here, see, did Splatana Wiper, I think, was the uh, choice there. I might have said the stamp from previous times. As we do see a Squiffer, oh my goodness. This is going to be a little aggressive coming out, uh, out of this one for both of these teams, especially here uh, on the side of Cephalo Squads here. Boyo Popper with the Ink Brush, the, Splata the Splatana with the Zip Caster again, so it's going to be the what? Gonna be the Splatana coming out of that guy. We got a double kill right out of the gate here. The Ink Brush was just just struck two, and right away Cephalo Squad takes full territory. It's three members down already, and Cephalo Squad starting things off strong. They are gonna be chunking down everything, and already the umbrella just went down. I have wasted no time trying to cover the rest of Ludicrous Speed there. Ludicrous Speed with the quick umbrella, the, the Squiffer, the heavy splatling, and the splash matic to get things going here, and they're still chunking down on all on all the points as much as they can. They are still retaining all the control. Two members down on Ludicrous Speed. And, and members are just so low. Here comes the Crab Tank, but the Crab Tank is out! The Crab Tank is out. They don't lose the special though, but that is huge. The Hydra Splatling eliminating the Crab Tank to no, and all of a sudden members on Ludicrous Speed are dropping like flies. They have to be able to contest the rest of this point. Big Bubber is gonna be coming out here shortly. Squiffer is gonna try to paint, paint the rest of the zone. They are having to escape. This should now be Ludicrous Speed's Zone to take, but 27 points remaining, and they have wasted absolutely zero time capitalizing on that push on the zone. What a start to get things going. Wavebreaker is going to be coming out here shortly. Now Ludicrous Speed trying to play in position. You gotta start aiming down the turn. You can't let him pressure them out. Pressing them out for you for so long. Now they've lost control, but but members are down on both sides. But who wins the inking advantage here in the, the zones? Two members down for Ludicrous Speed. They have to ink this zone right now, and they, do, and they do! Now massive penalty points are applied, that is huge, that is gonna buy them enough time here, and this Watana Strikes again taking on Mochi, two members already down for Ludicrous Speed! And now for the rest of Cephalo Squad, how are you gonna attack here? Here comes some Zip Caster, actually not able to connect on, on, on a few of those connections here, but now trying to fight back from the side of the Crab Tank going down! What a play by that guy to take out the Crab Tank, neutralizing the Crab Tank especially, but while that all that was happening though, Cephalo Squad lost two members on the defense. Mochi and the rest of the, rest of the guys are trying, are, trying to, are trying to fight here. Got it! Dre is able to pick up, find a few, and right now, members are being dropped in here, and how about that for, how about that for style? Dre finds, finds two members, does get eliminated, but that is gonna advance the tower in favor of Cephalo Squad. Lucian's gonna be the one on the tower. Booyah Bomb coming online. It's gonna be thrown right towards Gamer Time direction. Hype having to be driven a little further left. Puzzle Wuzzle using the ink back to protect Lucian. It is some incredible ink back usage, and it actually gets a past checkpoint one. And right now, Ludicrous Speed is trying to take control of the tower. Lucian does go down. The tower is gonna reset back. Now we get. Now we see the big bubbler coming online. Now you gotta. Now here's a counter push for Ludicrous Speed. All four members together. Now you gotta start finding the opening. They gotta get past checkpoint one. Lucian and Boy Bomber though are in very are in some are in some kind of kind of danger. But two members to drop. Two members to drop. Cephalo Squad again defensive. Well, they only gained seven points out of that push. Key moments here at the last end. Cephalo Squad has to now play a lot more defensively. They did lose two. Still plenty of time to play this defense correctly if you are. The rest of the Cephalo squad, Big Butler online. No, they do not stay on the tower. Poyo Popper snipes it away. Cephalo squad do get their first rank map win of the season, and it's on tower control, Maker Mart. Maker there, Quantum Lila picks up for a few extra points, but that's all it's gonna be. And the Zipcaster yet online yet again. Can that guy take full advantage of the Rainmaker? But while the Rainmaker has been popped on the other side, the rest of Cephalo Squad's over chase on that one, and that is just unfortunate that the Rainmaker hits the first checkpoint. They just snuck it front right from behind them. Oh my goodness! Still trying to play this Rainmaker very very tightly here. And he actually, the Rainmaker does find one. That guy does drop. It's two members already down for Cephalo Squad. Boy Bobber is gonna have to. Boy Bobber having to think twice 
Wanting to just throw splat bombs to, to pretty much protect himself. Inkvac, Inkvac being used, trying to absorb all the Rainmaker usage. Here's Point Lumber, no! Eliminated, it's Gamer Hype with, with the elimination, but look at that! The Inkvac being thrown in perfectly, and Puzzle Wuzzle takes out the Rainmaker hol holder there. Quantum Leela does go down. Really for, for ludicrous speed, still not quite an opening they want to use. Football is going to be fa found! They got to rush in! No, the Reef Slider gets killed! Gets cancelled out! The Blob Blobber taking out the Reef Slider usage, and that is and that is that Park Lamb going to be entering the void here in just a moment. But Lou, they have to get this push going right now. Puzzle, you got to find some value. Puzzle does find Gamer Hype, that's a big find! But, but the rest of the team is all scattered across the board. Here's a Squid Jump! They have the Squid Jump right now! There's Lucian! No! They just, they short hop the throw! There's one more! Where's the one clam? They, they have the one clam trucked in! And it happened at the last minute! It happened at the last minute! The lead was flipped! The lead was flipped! And Cephalo Squad clutches it out! People, how is it going in this Tuesday evening? It is a matchup between two undefeated teams here to kick off week two of the Proton Splat League. It is Triggerfish Zone Supremacy versus Iosis. Good evening to you all and welcome to the broadcast. I'm Kion. I will be leading you to the broadcast here, here this evening. Neighbors just having to throw in, a, th throw in some pressure here. He's being pressured out. Who else could it be? It's X, of course. X with the Octobrush fi finding Vapor now. He's going to try to dive right deep into the rest of the territory. He takes out Smork. Some great zip caster usage. Unbelievable stuff from X. And once again, T Iosis is playing incredibly aggressively. And look at that. They were just in danger. TZS, that is. And now Iosis now looking to see if they can keep up their aggression to get this one going. The rest of Iosis, though, is all grouped up together. They are trying to assert any control of this zone as much as they can. Kraken, can you find anybody with the Zip Caster? Here's the Octobrush coming in. No, no, no one to be found there as well. But Iosis just, did just lose two members. It's Mewtwo on the backhand side. And the rest of Iosis is gone. The rest of Iosis is gone. TCS wins the fight and the game. What a game winning fight at the end of that. And TCS comes out on top and they win the zone's map. And so it did go down as well. Now the rest of Iosis are just pressured out right now. Iosis is just is just like all the way back. That's two members going down. Vapor finds a double kill out of all this. And now the rest of TCS is able is able to push right along. Silva just went down. X is gonna be the only one that can that can get the that can defend this as much as they can. It's punished entirely going down as well. They just went down. TCS takes the tower control map and the series win uh, and the set win for that matter as they get the KO. And now Silva, which path are they going to take? Are they going to try to force on the left as Smork goes down? Three members already going down. They are going to go left hand side. It is going to be the checkpoint. So both teams cashing in on checkpoints right now. Tiebreaker currently favors TCS as TCS the now has to break that checkpoint. And both teams, however, it is now back to Splatoon 2's version of the Rainmaker as two members are grouped up to the right and DRF does go down. Two members are going down in a massive bloodbath here. Let's take a look, let's take a look further as Kraken did try to pick up the Rainmaker. Now the rest of Iosis. Now they have the Rainmaker. They've taken the lead and they are going to go down. Just massive fights down in this left-hand side on the, on the respective of Iosis. And out of all of this one, the Rainmaker taking the very weirdest physical angle that they can see as Rainmaker stands glued on to that platform. I'm going to put a lot of love into this one as three members just go down. TZS is going to opt to reset the Rainmaker. They do have ink territory down on mid. And that is how this goes. But they're going to... So the Brush is now going to have to carry this Rainmaker on their hands. Now they're just going to fire a lot... A, a, pretty much all the shots... There, as, as members again from Iosis is going down right now. Waybreaker in, trying to pressure out the rest of TZS. And the, oh my goodness, the Rainmaker blast from Kraken. Kraken playing the Rainmaker to a Slayer weapon, especially taking out two members. And the rest of TZS just, just continue on this non stop aggression. X again punishes the Rainmaker holder in Kraken. And it's now trying to push right ahead. The C Jr. and the Blob Lover is a full wipeout to get. For, on, on the hands of Iosis, they defended it successfully, but more points in favor of TZS on that push. Now you have one last push remaining, 52 seconds left. You have to protect the Rainmaker now if you're Iosis. See, let's see here, 10 seconds. They got only 44. You can't leave any. You cannot leave any spot unchecked. Mewtwo trying to go 
trying to go so close. They can't retreat right now. They are, and he's getting sucked on the Ink Storm. Silva's gonna be the one holding that Rainmaker. Where is the rest of Iosis? They have to keep pushing around. 25 seconds. They're just stuck behind them. The rest of TCS is just throwing all of the squids in the front. No openings are available for Iosis. And Mewtwo is just trying to fight right in. Silva's able to take out Mewtwo, but there's only 12 seconds left to go for Iosis to get anything done. It's just a desperation attempt, and it's only gonna go down despite any attempts of this from happening. And Iosis, they do come up with an overtime, with an overtime point, but it's just not enough. TCS wins the Rainmaker map. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Proton Splat League. Week 2 action resumes. It's a battle between two two teams. One of them making their PSL debut. It will be Team Splat versus Niners Esports. I'm killing. I'm actually joined by a co-com this time. It's Planet Firefin's Captain Vince. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you, Keon? I am slightly awake. I will I will power through this. <laughs> Trust me, I've had a couple drinks of coffee, maybe three, maybe four, we don't that's know. Way, anyway. That's way, that's way too many. Uh, if they can coordinate their specials, oh, I see that button. Ooh, oh, three down! Three oh. members down, definitely across the board. Actually, on both sides of the board, and Kira's able to return fire, at least gain a few extras, but that's three members down, and we're coming down to the last minute. Definitely huge for Niner Esports, they can get some turf back. Now they will try, but it is gonna. But it is a slightly delayed. Did buy splat some time to, re to respawn. But one member does go down. The charger does go down, and the T tech going down as well. Joe Kira finds another one, and three members down for splat. Niners esports, however, left the tower unchecked, and splat was trying to sneak a push behind them. Yeah, Westerfray was like, I'm gonna just take this tower <laughs> while they're busy. I Joke was flanking. Oh my goodness, they have to need. Oh my goodness, this is. Going to be very back Ooh. and forth again. No, oh, jo speaking of Jokera flanking, Jokera gets a delayed triple. The bomb took out two members out of all that one, and it's now good. And now the Rainbow are in Niners Esports possession. They just got past the first checkpoint. That that explosion is going to take out one member. It's going to be. Give me the run. Gonna be the Rainmaker being pushed up right ahead, but it's being met by a bunch of triple ink strikes and a lot of inking, and Spot's able to hold. Uh, uh, Booyah Bomb gets thrown, but the Void's area. But it was used to just get them to oh, move no. forward and get the pick. And there's the wipeout. Yeah, the wipeout. Joker flanked on the backhand side, took out Cool Out. Now a lot of inking in favor of Niners Esports. Triple H basically thrown perfectly to carve out a good, decent looking path. And now they've taken out the T Tech, but two members have Ooh. have just went down. And right now Splat is having to play defense right now. And Joe Carrot's actually taking out Cool L. What is Joe Carrot the rest of this team? They're playing absolutely nuts, but the but they do go down. Cord takes out the member, but the rest of Niners Esports is all there. But Cure gets the double kill <laughs> and a wipeout. Oh my goodness, Splat. Joe Joe Kara was just making that path. Flat has been able to hold their own. Going down to the Blah Blobber, especially. Westward's, Westward doing work with the Blah Blobber. The Crab Tank's all the way up into Splat's territory. And oh. Pango strikes again with the Crab Tank. Oh rolling around and three members of Splat just went down. Presto has the Rainmaker. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your Saturday. I'm Kill and I'm joined by a co-com. It's Flair. How are you doing? I'm fine. Rayon Fluxo is gonna try to say otherwise, right in the minute I say that, here comes the Junior Del Dan using the Crab Tank Blue Bomb being thrown right into the zone. The Splash Down Crusaders recapture it, but Rayon's all the way stuck into the back, and it's a wipeout in favor of the Dolphins. The Dolphins are gonna take control, now it's time for them to be ag aggressive. Yeah, you're starting to see a lot of teams really try to force it on that left-hand side. I, as, as, noted, as noted earlier in Sturgeon, it is a very popular choice. It is very safe, and a lot of teams can try to go for it. Oh my goodness! The, did the hammer toss just take a take a Mickey there? That hammer toss must have taken out Mickey. Oh my goodness! Whoever's throwing that hammer, that was a well placed hammer, and the button, and the rainmaker stays where where it stood. It only delays it by a bit. But as members did drop just now, two members in fact dropping for the Dolphins, and now Red Jump's gonna rotate it the other way. As as right now Red is having to go right in, right on from the. The Junior flanks and takes out Red Gem Soda, and now Radon and the Rainmaker stays in its bubble. Members are now dropping a delayed wipe, and now the Dolphins just gonna pick it up and stall it out, and it's gonna seal the deal. The Dolphins will win the Rainmaker map. Yeah, yeah, three members actually dropping big time, and, and we're down to the last 30 seconds. As we all know, in turn four, the last 30 seconds do matter the most, so Splashdowns do need to control their deaths right now, as you mentioned. One for one trade on both sides. We're gonna t I'm gonna take a look at the big map overall to see where how both teams control this one. It is gonna be so close across the board. 
Where do, where do both of these teams want to duel right now? Joker's going to be left uncontested on the backhand side. If they, if they leave him uncontested, the sploosh just went down. The rest of the, the team, though, two members actually went down in the last seconds. The Aerospray, however, went down. It's only the C Jr. left available on the Dolphins end. Two members now go down. Mickey and Izoba are trying to furiously paint. The Inkstorm's just trying to finish... There we- I have to take a look at the map, but I think I saw a lot of pro, lot of these Dolphins ink down. I think Dolphins may have. I saw specials. Yeah, I saw a ton of end. specials, and they did take it home. It's yeah. a 51.9% advantage to 42.4. The Dolphins complete the map sweep. They will take home 14 points against the Crusaders.